assembly, and even that takes two to three days usually. We can now, do I have a slight offset in these cameras, so it's looking like I've got it misaligned, but once I bring it down, it'll be. We can do 250 packages in a day on the same day we get the weight That's back. what I thought. I knew I should have Liz, started. Yes, thank you. Use it on Aaron. Okay. <laughs> we can go from uh, first silicon chuck coming in from the uh, shipper to dozens of parts for the debuggers in three hours. So if we want to have a fab in here, we would be self sufficient. Which is actually cutting up the No, we no, no. That's the one thing we don't have for the process is the wafer saw. Uh, we have the probers, we can test the parts to know which ones are good, which ones are bad. The wafer saw, we have an external company do that. We typically will have Larry drive it up to the company in Dallas. It's the most easy to work with. And then we come back with the um, set up side. Take the rubber, six different, put it over and go to the line. And this is a profile that shows our temperature. When it gets about here, you're going to be able to see the solder as well. So. Those are the little bumps, the little bumps on the bottom of the picture that are going to adhere to the uh, package. And we have yeah. 100,000 bumps on About 1,800 bumps on each side that are being melded together right now. And what that is, is about 350 degrees C air coming down that nozzle to heat up the silicon and about 250 degree air coming from the bottom to the substrate. So that the two end up reflowing the solid and you get a good one. It's being real slow to heat up this afternoon. And then this is um, a quad substrate, so we do the same thing, same process, but I don't use this tool. I'll set the die in location and then right behind <laughs> us there's a, a reflow oven that I'll do about 24 at a time. Now that the tool thought I can do another one without the same time. 